Hi, I'm Sam with Viral Media Network. Now today we're in Oakland. We're in the Limert neighborhood, right near the Limert Bridge and right off of Park Boulevard. And that's what I love about this hike. Uh, the local barrier hikes, this series, it's all about getting away from the hustle and bustle of the Silicon Valley or whatever kind of uh, work, work day you're working in and you just want to get away because we've got a lot of nice nature areas. Now we're not going to take you to the places that you'll find in all the tourist hiking books. These are the tucked away places that are maintained by the people in the community and they're really great places that are really approachable. And as you can see, it's right here off the street and it's close to a couple of freeways, but it also seems like a world away and an oasis from all the hustle and bustle. Now, the Bridgeview Trail is part of the Sausal Creek watershed. Now, this is maintained by the Friends of Sausal Creek. And they're an organization, a nonprofit organization that comes and does, do, does the trail maintenance, and they help with the garden you'll see up ahead, which is also part of the city adopt the spot. Today, we're gonna start here. This also connects to the lower part of the Sausal Creek, which you can then hike down into the Diamond Park, which is a great city park. But today, we're gonna hike the other way up Bridgeview, which is adjacent to the Montclair driving range, and eventually get up into Joaquin Miller. Now, Joaquin Miller, the, the namesake of that city of Oakland Park. He's a character in his own right, so I would encourage you to look up more history about him. He had a ranch up there, and today it's our city of Oakland Park, and we're gonna connect that through a tunnel underneath 13, the Warren Freeway, that's at the end of this hike, and on the frontage road of Mountain Boulevard. Now, as you can see on this map, we'll take a closer look. It's about a three, four mile hike in general. We're gonna end on the Sunset Trail, which has great panoramic views of the Bay Area. And that's another reason why I like this hike, because it's very approachable. You can start at different points of the trail if you want a shorter hike. And the payoff is great because of the view. Um, this is the Bridgeview Trail, and come on, let's check it out. Okay, we're about a half mile in. As you can see, we've already made it to a junction. Now the Old Canyon Trail will take you down to Sausal Creek, and that's the lower Bridgeview Trail. You'll go under Limer Bridge to the upper Diamond Park area. We're gonna stay straight along the Bridgeview Trail, the upper Bridgeview. We're gonna stay straight on the Bridgeview Trail, and we're gonna enjoy this all the way up to about Route 13, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, we've made it to the end of the Bridgeview Trail, and you notice that last part, especially, you come through the top of Sausal Creek, some lovely redwoods, a beautiful canyon, and some steps. 
Now you notice a sign here and it says Joaquin Miller this way. We're gonna follow Monterey Boulevard for maybe a quarter mile and we'll look for this tunnel that goes underneath 13. This is 13, the Warren Freeway right here. We're gonna go underneath and go to the Joaquin Miller Court cul-de-sac and that's gonna be the trailhead of Palos, Colorado. Come on, let's check it out. All right, I'm here at the Palos Colorado's trailhead. This is the start of Joaquin Miller Park. You'll follow this up. This is the upper part of Sausal Creek still. It's a little steep, it's a little narrow, so really be careful, especially in wet winter times. But once you get to the top of this, you'll see it's well worth it. We're gonna get to Sunset Trail, some great views. So let's go. Okay, we made it to another junction point, and if you made it this far, you know that little bit of Palos Colorado Trail is kind of steep, but it's beautiful. It's going up Sausal Creek. There's some great views. It's a little narrow, so be careful, but we're almost done with the treacherous uphill. Now, at this junction point, you can stay straight on the Palos Colorado Trail. That'll take you further up Sunset and closer to the Joaquin Miller Meadow, which I recommend checking out at a different point. It's got great picnic areas. The Woodminster Theater is over there worth checking out. There's a nature center. But we're going to Sunset Trail and there's a great payoff there. And I'm not gonna tell you about it. It's a little bit of a surprise. But you take left here on the Cinewalk Trail. It's just a really short trail up to Sunset. It'll just take you that much further on the Sunset Trail so you don't have to backtrack going all the way up this way. It's a little steep. There's some steps, but trust me, it's worth it. Once we get up there, you'll see why. Let's enjoy it. Let's go, you're almost there. All right.
All right, we are on Sunset Trail. And you notice there's a couple turnoffs to the right. You can take those if you want. They're uphill, but stay on the Sunset Trail here because as you round the bend, you notice there's a great view coming up and that's the payoff. You get to see the entire Bay Area from this trail. So if you can make it up the Paulus Colorado Trail, or if you want to do an easier hike, you can park right in Joaquin Miller and make it a little bit shorter. But I think it's worth it, you know, because you, you get to see different environments too. And plus you can say you started from the street way down in the Limerick area. So come check it out. We're on the Sunset Trail. All right, we've made it to the end of Sunset Trail. Now we've reached this road, we're gonna to wanna to veer left. Now be careful, there's not a lot of traffic. There's not a lot of traffic, but there can be some, so you're gonna to wanna to watch out because there's some blind curves. We're gonna go down this for a very short period of time, and we're gonna find some little trails in between houses that'll get us back to that tunnel underneath 13 that'll eventually back to the bridge view to do a complete loop. You can leave a car here at the end of the road if you want to end your trail here. And again, that's what I love about this trail. There's so many different options. All right, we're coming down Mountain Gate and we're reaching the intersection of Mountain Gate and Castle. Now on the other side of the street, you'll notice there's a little path in between the houses. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're in between these houses and you notice there's a nice pathway downhill. And you notice this pathway is lush with all these great gardens around in this neighborhood. So this goes one block and we go kitty corner across. There's another path on the next block. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're coming down the last set of stairs. We're gonna take a left on Camino Lanada. It's about a block down, and these roads are pretty scarce. Mainly just local traffic, people coming and going to their homes, and not too busy. But then we're gonna turn right on El Caminito, which is a one-way street. We'll be going the other way, the wrong way. So stay on the left side of the street so cars can see you coming. And we're gonna hit the next juncture and we're almost back to our complete loop. Okay, we're reaching the end of El Caminito and it's gonna end back on Mountain Boulevard. We're gonna take a left. Now this is a pretty busy street. This is the most dangerous part. I want you to look left, right, left again, and go right across the street to the guardrail. Stay on the in the outside part of the guardrails, block you from traffic, and that'll get you back to the tunnel. Let's go. Okay, we're now inside the guardrail. We're on Mountain Boulevard. You can see the Warren Freeway right on the other side of this fence. We're pretty much back to the tunnel here. And this is where you have your options. You can leave cars parked at any of these junctions. You can go back through the tunnel and go back on the Bridgeview 
Upper Bridgeview Trail. I want to give a special shout out to Oakland Urban Paths. They're the ones that taught me about this trail specifically, and they'll do a lot of great trails the first Saturday of every month. Check out oaklandurbanpaths.org. Be sure to check out Joaquin Miller Park. Look up for yourself the history behind the namesake, Joaquin Miller the poet. He's a very eccentric character and integral to the early starting of the city of Oakland. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can see the tunnel here to make it back to the Upper Bridgeview Trail. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Viral Media Network 415. Like this video, check out the playlist, Local Bay Area Hikes. Check out the other playlists we have on Viral Media Network. We've got a lot of great other videos. Leave a comment below. Tell us what video you want to see next on Local Bay Area Hikes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the trail.